All right, Anderson's Bird of Prey, my absolute favorite October cat is pupa. I love this time of year. I get to fish this fly a lot, pretty much all of uh, October, half of September, and most of November. This will be on uh, on my line uh, when I'm nymphing. Uh, I've uh, hooked steelhead trout clear well into November on this fly. It's just a great pattern. Uh, this is a size 8 TMC scud hook. Uh, what is it? It's uh, 2457. And I've got a 8th inch gold bead. Uh, this is a tungsten bead. You can use regular, but I like to use tungsten just because it gets right down. Uh, really short stub tail at a partridge uh, on the skin. You can see all these fluffy feathers up here that you really don't use for a whole lot. They're a little long for soft tackles and stuff. They work great for, for tailing on this fly. So I'm just going to take a, take a tip. Make a couple wraps. And tie it well into the bend of the hook there. Uh, real short. I'm going to take some medium pearl tinsel, tie that in as well. Now I've got some orange dubbing, orange UV dubbing. Dub that on, and this this fly is going to have a pretty good uh, pretty good taper towards the front. Okay, now I'm going to wrap my tinsel and I'm going to wrap it pretty close. A lot of, a lot of ribbing in this fly. Now I'm going to use some ice dubbed UV pearl. Now the collar rackle is just uh, just partridge. Now this will be sized to suit. And then strip it off, leaving just a little bit of the fluff down at the bottom. Tie it in tip first. Your feather will look like that. And I don't I don't worry about trimming that little tag end, it'll kind of blend in with everything else. Take my scissors and run it down the top so these fibers start sweeping backwards. And after every wrap I'm just going to kind of sweep them backwards. And when you get to the bare stem, tie it off. Now right here I just kind of push it back to give that nice kind of sweeping look to it. Pull it all back and give yourself, tie yourself in a pretty good base here for your peacock curl. I'm going to take three strands of peacock curl. Tie them in a little above the above 
the rear so you're well into the, the actual nice herbal section of it. Run my thread down and I'm going to just kind of wrap this peacock curl around my thread and spin it with my thread. Now I'm actually going to take one more step and just kind of run my thread back through the peacock curl. And that's just kind of an insurance policy that it'll, it'll last more than a couple fish that way. Now we finish. That's it. Anderson Bird of Prey. It's been an amazing fly for me these last couple seasons and it'll continue to be so uh, well, in, well into the fall.